Okay, we already explained about the um, 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 object input stream and object output stream. And right now, I'm going to um, use Java in order to um, demonstrate about that idea. So we're going to create a Java application. This one is called um, Objects Input Output Stream. Object Input Output Stream Demo. So, um, we have, uh, before that, we're going to say that we have an object, okay? So, in order to have an object, first we need to create a Java class. This Java class is called the student class. And for the student class, we're going to have, like, um, int um, uh, um, um, ID, student ID, string, student name, it's just that. And we're going to use um, alt int, so we're going to create the constructor for this, we're going to have own insert, we're going to create getter setter for this, and we're going to just um, implement the um, override the two string methods, okay, so that we're going to be able to display our um, information on the screen. So um, this one we're going to have object output stream, we're going to have, you know, uh, as you have seen over here, Okay, object upper stream is anyway is going to here. Sorry, this one is object upper, uh, object upper stream anyway is gonna need to make use of the upper stream anyway. So, uh, and we would like to uh, write this data to a file. So, this upper stream is going to be a new file upper stream. So, we're going to create, uh, we're going to write into student dot that. Okay, so we're going to have object, um, sorry, so we're going to have. Output stream first OS equal to new file output stream because we would like to write the data to the file. If you don't want to write data to the file, you can write to any other um, output stream types, let's say to byte array, so on and so forth. And right now, find output stream. Right now, we're going to specify the file which is named as uh, what file there? The file which is named like student.dat. Okay. Student.dat. Okay, and import for this output stream, and we're going to add the catch clause of um, try catch surround statement with try catch. Okay, from this output stream, it's going to work with bytes, but we would like to work with uh, we don't want to work with bytes, we want to work with objects. So we're going to use object output stream. Okay, but this object output stream, our as equal to is going to make use of the is going to make use of that output stream anyway. Okay, so what is the what is the job for? What is the job for again? This object output stream is going to take an object, okay, and then going to um, convert it into sequence of bytes, and that sequence of bytes is going to um, be written down to the file using this output stream a file. Okay, so so now that's why you have this one. So this one you're going to add under catch clause, okay, for IO exception. Then right now you would like to um, write an object. Okay, you would like to write an object, and in order to write this object, you have to make sure it is serializable. It must be convertible, okay, into um, convertible into um, um, objects uh, into sequence of bytes. Sorry, so that's why it must implement it must implement serializable interface control space. Okay, this serializable interface is our marker interface you'll see from it doesn't have any method inside here it doesn't have any method inside here that's why it is called as a marker interface okay it is to mark that this student is serializable and deserializable or convertible to and from sequence of bytes okay so that you can write the data down so this one you're going to write the object but what object we're going to create the student object first Okay, I have student s3 equal to new student object with ID is 1 and name is meter a. Okay, and then right now they would like to use this object in um, um, upper stream to uh, write. Okay, you're going to write the student out. Okay, and this one we're going to uh, write object, sorry, we're going to write object. Okay, write object. After uh, being able to write that object, you're going to close the object upper stream. You're going to close the upper stream. That close. Okay. This one is used to write an object to a file, which is called student dot that. Okay, so you can work with object. So you need a working right now is an object. So if you run this one, if you run this one, it's done. You will be able to view that files over here. 
Okay, that one is the um, optic input stream, upper stream. Yeah, on that far is here. If you open it, it's a binary, so you don't see um, some string information here. Okay, some string information here, or you may not be able to see anything because, you know, it is binary. It's not. Um, it is binary. It's not. Um, how to say? Uh, it's not. Um, 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 it is binary. It is not text. So. You cannot view it that way. So if you want to uh, read it, you can um, use uh, the input stream, okay? Uh, object input stream, and this object input stream is going to use the um, input stream anyway. So uh, this input stream is going to read sequence of bytes that written there, and uh, the object in, um, input stream will have to deserialize it or convert it from sequence of bytes to object. So um, we're going to create a new file inside the same project. We're going to create a new file. This one is object input or read object read object okay class finish so this read object class we're going to make its public static void main so we're going to um, um, we're going to be able to execute it okay inside this project too and um, we need to read from an input stream is equal and we need to read from um, um, far input stream so we're gonna put that far is um, student dot that okay um, oh, the string x for this one. When I need to put the x outside here, string x, okay, string x. Then um, this one we need to um, uh, ask, um, try catch to the uh, statement, but we don't want to read bytes. We want to read objects. That's why we're going to use um, object input stream. No, object input stream. Okay, um, OIS equal to a um, new object input stream. This one is going to read object from the input stream anyway, IS. Okay, and then this one you're going to add the catch clause. Now, you want to read the object. So, object OBG equal to object input stream dot read. When you read, object is going to return you object in general it doesn't return you student object why because you know you can write any kinds of object down there when you read they you know you don't know what other people uh, has written down so it's just return you in form of object okay then but for sure you know it is a student so you can convert it into std equal to cast it into students okay this one you may not have right to or you may have to, um, error when reading so we're going to add catch clause for um, another um, exceptions okay or the class um, not found so when you load the student class but you don't have student inside there it's not going to work that's why um, I'm, I'm putting the uh, another file inside here okay so if you have a student and let's just try to um, display that as the two string methods okay we will review the two string so what we have written down is this student student one meter a okay and right now we're trying to read that you want to and written down here and right now you're going to try to read that from this far okay and if it is if it is displaying exactly the same information one meter a means we could read that so we're gonna press shift shift okay press shift f6 to run this one don't just press um, um, F6 because it's going to run the main one or just right click on this one and say run far it is shift F6 okay run and you could load the information of the student written down to the far here okay that one is about object input and object output strings so the units of working is now object base okay object base so just to summary this one is byte stream this one is byte streams means uh, you are working with primitive data types and this one is um, 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 primitive streams okay primitive streams and you could read with character streams okay streams and you could work with also object streams okay object stream and uh, in the uh, next lecture, I'm going to demonstrate about um, another new concept, which is about buffers. Okay, buffers, buffers. What is this buffer for? Okay, we're going to uh, for faster or better performance. We're going to uh, study about this one in the um, next video. Okay, so see you later.